Oh, torpedoes. Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnought. This is our Italian 1930s campaign, and not only are we at war, but the center party has won the elections and formed a new government. Things are looking hot and sweaty here, except this is uh, pretty awful as a <laughs> initial enemy battle so uh, our large fleet uh, it's not really large our 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 well-sized fleet is being attacked by four submarines i do have depth charges on all of my cruisers and all of my destroyers and i have sonar i believe on all the cruisers and all the destroyers so hopefully we don't take any damage from these submarines and we completely destroy them Unfortunately, against submarines, all you can do is auto-resolve, and this is why I really dislike submarines in this game. Uh, I highly recommend to people, when this comes out of the beta, to look into a mod called the Balance Mod, as it completely removes submarines from the game, as they're sort of an arbitrary thing in the game, and I don't think they add much. So, cross our fingers on this auto-resolve. One of our destroyers took heavy damage, we sunk one of theirs, heavy damage on another, light and medium. So I am fine with that. Uh, as long as our battleships and our cruisers don't take damage, uh, crazy that they got 59 victory points for just damaging one of our destroyers. We only earned 213 victory points, but that's how it goes. We are being hunted by all of the submarines that the French have. So here is another one. Once again, cross our fingers on this auto resolve and boom. Our depth charges and sonar worked wonders. Two of their subs were sunk and one took light damage to no damage of our own. And this is a stupid battle. Why would port defense against task force? uh no no this i mean we would we would lose terribly what oh boy so they have a sixty-two thousand ton battleship cost them 1.65 so about the same i think as one of our battleships has four turrets of 17 inch guns ouch that is nasty. Large armor on it too. Well, not actually, it's not actually that large. And then a bunch of random crap. This is not how you... When you come to your secondaries, you don't want to design your ship like this. That's too many guns. I sort of recommend a big, a medium, and a small. Preferably you just choose two. Uh, and that's better. And it has two underwater torpedo tubes also. So, why can we not withdraw from this battle? That's strange. Is it because they're actually striking our port? That's interesting. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch this one because I'm essentially going to cheese this battle and retreat with my light cruisers. My light cruisers would not engage in a battle against well that so uh, i will pause the video here and i'll be back after this after bravely running away our fleet at olbia is safe and we have a couple missions here so one of our convoys is being attacked by a cruiser and a light cruiser we have 11 transports one of our cruisers and two destroyers so this might be a little bit of a tough battle here they only have 4.4 inch guns on the light cruiser seven and a half inch guns on the big cruiser so let's dive on in and we must protect our transports this as i said this is why i like placing 
those destroyers and those cruisers on the shores where our shipping lanes will be. So let's start the battle. So we have our San Marco and Giuseppe Missouri and one other Antonato Uso de Mare. I did go and change all the names of our ships and it took quite a while to do so. So most of them are of the appropriate class or at least of the appropriate type. Uh, I did have to go choose some World War I names for the cruisers, but I think it is appropriate. So the enemy is out there somewhere. I would like to push down to full, gives us a little bit of an accuracy bonus there. They can sit on save. They are screening my cruiser. My cruiser is already shooting at theirs. And that looks like their big cruiser. Does it? What does the other one look like? Uh, well, the other one has low fuel, so it's not as big of a deal. So I would like to go after this one and let's head a little bit this way. We're on times five. I wish we could do times ten when we're, we are this far away. Hopefully they have worked on the AI a little so that my destroyers don't crash into me. And what else do I want? How are you doing for aiming progress? Not great. Why did you launch torpedoes, dude? Forgot to put you on to save. One dead already. That was a terrible waste of torpedoes. I'm fine firing all these shells because we have tons of aiming. Oh, he's firing HE? No, 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 no. Fire, fire AP. Especially at this distance. Okay, is the enemy retreating from me or what are they doing? I feel like the enemy is retreating from me, so I am going to make a hard turn into this ship with n low fuel. And I just want to point out in these patch notes, it said that the enemy would be better at fueling up their ships, and so far that is not the case in the mission where I turned tail and ran. The enemy fleet had low fuel. Wow, he already has range on me. That is crazy. And now we have a second ship with low fuel. So not impressed with that change. As in nothing has changed. Let's, uh... I haven't played this in a while. How do I... Uh, right click, expand cards, ship, drag. I'm trying to remember how I. Oh, there it is. Um, right click, all weapons. Okay. We have already had significant hits on them. He fired torpedoes, but looks like it was a bad shot. Our sonar picked him up. We are just pummeling this ship. We're taking some hits, but nothing, nothing real. And that ship is down for the count. So now looks like he's turning back now. Let's go take a quick peek at this ship as it sinks to the bottom of the sea. 
I do wish that they would continue momentum in this game as soon as they start sinking. They completely stop where they are. Although it looks like they've added a little bit more to the sinking. Very nice. So let's see. Oh, we took a big hit somewhere. Uh, wow, that was actually pretty bad. What happened here? Did we take two torpedo hits? I don't recall taking any torpedo hits. Wow. Okay. I wonder if I missed some torpedoes while I was staring at the busted ship. We are losing this duel quite convincingly. Wait, what? Another torpedo hit? I didn't see that. We're, we're going to lose this cruiser. Oh, this is bad. I did not see another torpedo. And it is completely ranged in on us from 12 kilometers away. They have definitely changed the accuracy of this game. And I'm going to take the end battle before I lose this cruiser. A little cowardly of me. Um, but we sink one of theirs and then one of ours was badly mauled. And it received... I mean, it looks like we basically took torpedo hits and I didn't see those. Yeah, we took three torpedo hits. I'm going to have to look back at the footage there. I thought we dodged them, but, you know, it happens. I was pretty pleased with how quickly we took out that light cruiser, even if it had low fuel, so it was a lot easier to take out. So, we earned a boatload of victory points there. They earned a little bit, mostly because of the phantom torpedo hits. We lost 20 crew, but that's okay. So, San Marco will be refitting for quite a bit. All right, now we have an ambush. Ugh. Do I want to fight this? This will be interesting. I do want to fight it, but that that'll be a lot of torpedoes. Hopefully we can blast these destroyers. Our destroyer not really sure what it's going to do in this battle. These are big destroyers too, nearly 4,000 tons. Um, one turret of three barrels, 4.9 inches. Four turrets of three guns of 1.9. Two turrets of two guns, 1.9. And all the torpedo tubes you could ever imagine. That is an absurd amount of torpedoes. Only 25 knots though for speed. That is incredible incredibly slow so maybe we can do circles around them that is a lot of torpedoes holy cow i think our destroyer needs to not engage i might put it on ai so let's go into this battle speaking of torpedoes now that's what a torpedo belt looks like this weird giant bulkhead that the torpedo smashes into explodes and doesn't cause any superstructure damage and this is this can't really flood per se all right uh we need you to go on a void i need you to go on save save and don't really know yeah let's just put you on ai control because otherwise i think you'll just die c 
see how these ships are are they turning away from us one lucky hit here it's because they're all grouped up they are turning away from us though which is rather interesting we have speed on them I would really like the game and here's another low fuel so unfortunate I would really like the game to change this they ambushed us so if they're ambushing us don't retreat from the battle and they're going to move as slow as a slow ship in this formation and that ship has low fuel so this formation is probably moving at a crawl yeah i think that's the best place for you for the destroyer there so we are just going to take what the enemy gives us we completely outpace them and if we can get some lucky hits sink some destroyers reduce their destroyer spam i will gladly take that these two i had to look for names and i think i can't remember if they're world war one ships because they don't necessarily fit in with a lot of the world war ii names for the cruisers so let's just take a quick look at oh, oh boy hit the wrong button at what our ships look like while they're firing so this is our quote unquote Zara class. The rendering issue of the boat on top of our torpedo tubes is still there, unfortunately. Oh, torpedoes. And uh, that's probably how our other ship was hit by torpedoes, is me not paying attention. Now I did put them on avoid torpedoes. Interesting that the front one didn't really avoid per se but the second one did that could have been disastrous i didn't realize we were this close i should have realized because our secondary guns were going off and looks like we are just sort of picking them apart i need to watch out for torpedoes there not have a repeat of everything that's going on this destroyer here is taking a beating that destroyer okay oh boy oh boy okay i think that is safe so we are in torpedo range world war ii torpedo range is quite far when you play this game in the 1910s 1890s you know all of that torpedo ranges can be incredibly short when you're dodging torpedoes um sometimes you want to turn into them like i wouldn't want to turn away from those ones because that would take me right into their arc and in fact i'm just going to change my entire direction this way because they damaged one of my torpedoes that's fine because they probably sent a giant wave of torpedoes in that direction we are just pummeling their ships i do want to be careful for this guy over here this is a really dangerous spread we are going to take a hit oh dud so lucky there these destroyers have oodles of torpedoes and it is really scary hopefully that guy can dodge well enough another one sunk i did design our cruisers to manhandle destroyers and our destroyers are fairly maneuverable too and i did that on purpose because i knew that they would be under constant torpedo attack that is so many torpedoes in the water hopefully my other ship is just dodging left and right which it looks like it is it is on a avoid torpedo order so that is something to keep note so i believe we have only one destroyer left and we have ranged in on it and it is taking a beating now i'd also like to point out that my ships have radar 
So, oh, there's, no, there's only one left. My ships have radar, so this long-range firefighting is a lot more accurate than you would have before you obtain radar. Because one, our other ship is firing, so there will be... Eh, they said they would fix that too. You can't really see the details here, but our ship would be suffering from the splashes of our allied ship firing. But with radar, it really mitigates the the accuracy negative that other shells splashing around have. Anyways, that was absolutely one-sided. We did get a little lucky in that one of the torpedoes uh, that hit us was a dud. However, I think we would have survived it. Um, but it, it would have hurt. I think my cruisers have torpedo... I don't remember. I believe they have some sort of torpedo protection. But as you can see, we did take some light damage from just some enemy small caliber weapons hitting us. Um, that one torpedo hit was a dud. And 24 partial pens, but they only did 268 damage. Whereas our lead ship did 98,000 damage to the enemy. Absolutely obliterated this destroyer ambush here. And just like that, the French government is desperately asking us to sign a peace treaty. And I actually want to sign this peace treaty because, as I said, we're about 16 months away from our battle cruisers. I'm not really ready for a full-blown battle with the French and the fact that their battleships having 17 inch guns terrifies me. So I'm going to try to agree to a ceasefire. We'll see if the governments agree just because you as an admiral accept their surrender or that say you wanted to fight on that doesn't mean that your government and their government agree with you. So we lost two crew on that fight. I will keep my ships out afloat in task forces just in case uh, the peace agreement doesn't go through. They have pretty decent fleets. Now, looking at their fleets, they have about one battleship and then a bunch of other ships. Whereas we've set up our fleets to have two battleships, four cruisers, and four destroyers. So if we get into a duel, we will have more battleships. Just those 17-inch guns really frighten me. Really frighten me. Um, but I will pause the video here. And I will be back once the once some sort of verdict is reached uh, between... France and Italy. Oh, will the war continue or will there be peace? Well, the two governments could not agree upon a peaceful resolution, so thus a war continues. And we shall see what this battle is. E okay. Um unsure about this battle, but we will fight it. Why is Coast Alarm? Enemy ships sighted near a coast. They seem to be a small force. Ah, this, this ship can't handle these. I have to be a coward here. This really sucks because I want to show you battles. But my if this was two of my cruisers against two of their cruisers, I'd take it. But my light cruisers, I stated this in the first episode... They're not designed to go against other cruisers. They have paper thin armor. Oh boy. Failure. All right. I guess we're fighting it. Uh, not too happy about that. I think I will have to put my light cruiser in the rear here. I don't really want you screening. Um... I think I will just have you sail and 
Are their ships low on fuel? That would just be terrible. Not terrible for me, but just in-game terrible. Doesn't look like they're low on fuel. I believe these were the exact same type of cruisers, yeah. I'm not expecting much out of this battle, and in fact, I think we might lose this one. Uh, let's, uh, let's have you follow him. And... Generally, I like to slow down to full. I think I will. Just to obtain the accuracy bonus, but... I'm a little unsure about that. They're doing some crazy maneuvering. I think we have a bonus here. The sun is behind us, so there is a glare factor in accuracy. Uh, if you can see on the left hand side it says minus 15% strong glare, but if I go this way there's no strong glare on the enemy, and that's because the sun is behind us. So I would like to keep it that way. They are turning quite aggressively toward us. And we already launched torpedoes. Man, I don't like launching torpedoes this far. I always recommend putting on save or none. Hopefully we can start hitting them. Our other ship is firing. Really, you need to fire the rear one. And that stops splashes from getting mixed up. Ah, they're already ranged in and we haven't even... I don't think we've hit them once. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, good hit there. I think the second ship will use some smoke and let's actually put you on normal and let's put you on normal there are torpedoes incoming and i think i would like to completely turn away from those torpedoes and yeah that's just too many torpedoes for me to handle a little tiny pen. Oh, please don't get caught by that torpedo. Okay, we're good. See, our, our light cruiser is just taking a beating. We are already under torpedo fire again. I am going to sail away from those torpedoes. Mmm, ow. I feel like we are outgunned here. We have not made much headway. There's a torpedo there, so let's turn just a little. I'm a little bit afraid of those torpedoes. Hopefully I can turn and not hit that torpedo. There's two more torpedoes out here. Not all torpedoes receive the yellow warning flags. And I think that's it's just based on how your sonar picks up things. Holy moly. They have tons of torpedoes. We haven't really ranged in on them. We had one lucky hit early. Oh, there's some hits. I don't like them firing at my light cruiser. Uh, they are concentrating on my light cruiser. It is 
one major hit away, I feel like, from being crippled. Alright, come on. Keep firing. It feels like they just launched torpedoes because he shifted direction, or he snuffed out the torpedoes that we launched. That was a good hit. We need more of those. Good hit. We do have slightly larger guns in them, so our guns should technically do more damage. He's turning into us, so we have ricochets. There's some more torpedoes. How do I feel about that? Let's go blank. That was a really nice hit, but we have to turn away. You need to completely turn away. You just took a flooding hit. Can you turn more? I think we need to do a drastic turn. Fishtail. Crazy dodging there. I want you to follow again. We're taking some nasty hits now, mainly because it has become a two on one. I would like you to direct fire on this ship course direction we have a rudder hit or rudder damage oh no 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 crap 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 we are turning in circles can we straighten out just a little can we even this battle can we take that ship out we are really getting some massive hits on it we have taken plenty of damage too. Now it's sitting duck. Its engines are flooded. It should go down. That being said, we are taking crippling fire from it. But I think it'll go down. Come on, come on, come on. Few more hits. Ah, uh, it's showing its butt to us. And unlike in Age of Sail type, you uh it's greater chance of deflection shots. Alright, now we're broadsiding. This is where you do the most damage, is a broadside like this. To the front or the rear in this game, uh your rounds can deflect or ricochet more often than not. And she's down. Alright, that ship is low on fuel. Took a little while, but I have to be careful of this rudder hit that we have. Because it wants to turn port or left. But it's low fuel, so it is much easier to hit. I feel like this was a pretty crazy battle. I did not feel good about this going in. I don't know if our light cruiser really did anything other than be a distraction. There was a lot of times where they were shooting at the light cruiser. The light cruiser has a smaller profile. It has a different speed than me, so it is technically harder to hit than this cruiser here. And there it goes. Wow. That was a bloody duel between two cruisers. A light cruiser and a heavy cruiser versus two heavy cruisers. Let's take a quick look at the ship stats. So the light cruiser, as I thought, really didn't... Well, you know, 6.5k damage. Oh, one of those was a torpedo hit. Maybe that's what made the difference was one of those random torpedo hits. They were really low on ammo. I take the extra ammo 
because I, I think it's necessary. That low on ammo might have been because I blew up a gun. Let's see, damage received, ammo detonation. Yes, that is what it was. An ammo debt, and this one took the torpedo hit, 15 floodings, 8 floodings. We took 2 floodings, and then we took 205 partial pins. Now, those blocked in ricochets from the enemy, that's when they faced us head on or ass, ass backwards. And that's where you generally see the blocks and ricochets. So incredible battle. Main gun accuracy. Our accuracy was so insane compared to theirs. Uh, very, very nice accuracy. I didn't take a look at the stats of their ships. Um, I probably... Oh, can I do that? Does it tell me... No, it doesn't tell me... Oh, there. Here we go. So... Cruising speed... Pretty good. 36.4 knots is really good, actually. Um, Citadel... Main belt is a little light. And their armor is sort of all over the place, so it wouldn't surprise me if they're a little off balance. And... But otherwise, not bad. Not bad ships. I was definitely terrified there. So as you can see, a total victory for Italy, 9,138 victory points versus 130. Two sunk ships, medium damage to our heavy cruiser, light damage to our light cruiser. And a couple crew lost, nothing we can't replace. And it doesn't look like there's anything else going on this turn. So I imagine it is a lot of repairing. This CL is repairing. And where did that cruiser come from? Uh, I don't know where that cruiser... Oh, okay. So Palermo has been sending out cruisers left and right. I would like this task force to move deeper into their territory. And... I like where that task force is. Now I don't have anything to buffer here. I think our, yep, our shipyard size is up. So let's build the next max shipyard size. So it'll be another 28,640 tons. It'll take two years to increase it. But it's something that needs to happen. Our monthly balance is in the tank. And I imagine that our growth is decreased. So I believe we were somewhere in the 9%, maybe even close to 10% before. So our growth has definitely taken a hit. The fact that we're negative so much is pretty scary there because when peace comes, I'll have to redo a lot of things. We do have a large naval fund though, so that is really good. And as far as things that we're building, this is a lot of income for when it's done. So. In three months, we'll receive a good chunk of income, and in eight months, we'll receive a ton of income. Thank you, Portugal, Australia, and Indonesia for your trading. And then one of our ships is repair. Four of our ships are repairing. We're building two more light cruisers, and in 14 months, our big, brand new battle cruisers will be out there. And... Just to show off some of the naming conventions, uh, I did name the Conte de Cavour classes um, after the two battleships of this class and then the two battleships of essentially a very similar class, the Andrea Doria. So we have the Conte de Cavour, the Julio Cesare, Andrea Doria, and the Dulio. I think it's actually the Chao Dulio, but it's just the Dulio here. Uh, since our battle cruiser is a completely made up battle cruiser and it's a Luigi class, I went for the Yoshi, Waluigi, Wario, Bowser, Luigi, and the Mario. So that is our group of Luigi class battle cruisers. For our Zara class, which 
uh, essentially encompasses a bunch of various classes from the Italian Regia Marina. Um, think of it as the Trento class, Zara class, and the San Jorgeo class. And then along with names from some World War I cruiser types. So these are all historical names. And then the Condiateri is very similar. They have ridiculous names. And then the Navigatori has some of the craziest names ever in their class. And then I looked for some World War I destroyers too. I ran out of ideas at the end, so we have the Carbonari, the Rosalino Pilo, and the Luca Torijo. But we have names such as the Giuseppe Cesare Abba, Giuseppe La Messa, Simon Schaffino. I'm probably butchering all these names, but I'm trying my best. But these are actually some real historical names of the Navigatory class and of some World War I destroyer types. Anyways, I will continue on with the uh we'll move into march of 1934 and we'll see if our two nations sue for peace once more or if we are continuing this one-sided slog now that being said i have been rather lucky in that france i don't know what france is doing but they've sent their battleships away from the fight and i'm pretty scared of their battleships but we shall see you in March. All right, March 1934 is here, and the French are asking for peace once again. I would like to agree to this peace treaty. However, as a parting gift, they want to attack our fleet. So I think we will end the episode here. And in episode three, we'll start with a pretty large fleet engagement. We'll face off against one of their large battleships, a battle cruiser, but we have two battleships of our own, and they have a whole slew of light cruisers with oodles of torpedoes. So I think this will be a good fight. This is a good place to end the episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying this one very interesting it's in it's cool to see the changes in the beta it's also disappointing to see some of the things that they said would change that haven't changed hopefully they can fix that by the time this launches live if you've made it this far i greatly appreciate you and as always guys until next time if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more please like subscribe and comment below